Hi everyone, making this video on the pros and cons of San Jose, California. Now I've lived in San Jose, California now for a few months and I think I've gotten a good vibe of this city in comparison to many other cities that I lived in. To give you a few cities that I've lived in, I've lived in Irvine, California, uh, I've lived in Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Tokyo, Japan, and I've actually traveled to 31 countries. So. Uh, I've lived in many different metropolitan cities and, uh, you know, when I do speak upon San Jose, California, it comes with a comparison to other cities that I have lived in as well. So let's jump into it. Uh, the pros and cons. Well, let's go with the pros first. Uh, definitely safe city in my opinion in comparison to other cities that are always on the news like San Francisco or Oakland. Um, San Jose is, is somewhat of a, a pretty safe uh, city. Uh, there's a lot of outdoor activities as well. So if you're looking to do some walking or trails, there's quite a few of that here in San Jose. Uh, there's also an airport, uh, international airport, you can be able to catch. Uh, so you don't have to go to SFO, uh, which is nice. There are uh, definitely transit and metros here. You can take the subway. Uh, I think that's an amazing thing to have for a city. And uh, you also have a variety of different Asian, and I mean Asian, I mean Vietnamese and Chinese predominantly, great restaurants. So if you're a, into uh, Chinese food, uh, authentic Chinese food, and also authentic Vietnamese food, you have that uh, here. Another one is, uh, in my opinion, I think San Jose is somewhat pretty clean. Uh, I don't see much trash on the ground. Uh, there is somewhat uh, greenery that has been planted by the city and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a ton of different tech companies. So if you're looking for work and specifically work in the software engineer, uh, you know, tech world, uh, you're going to find a, a job pretty quickly here in the Bay Area. Um, if you're into consulting or sales, I think those positions in IT or technology you can find anywhere. I don't think it's predominant here, but you're able to find that here too. So this is really niche in terms of techie position. So just keep that in mind before coming here because I know some folks are saying, hey, you know what? I want to work for Google, but you know I want to do this or Facebook or do this. Um, it's very specific towards the positions they have. They have every position, but... There's more positions of software engineering in comparison to many other ones. So just keep that in mind. Uh, another pro is the conglomerate of tech companies here. Uh, you've got major tech companies like Facebook headquarters, Apple headquarters, Google headquarters, and you've got a, a, you know, a thousand other uh, tech companies here, startup and whatnot, uh, they're located. So you know if you're into that type of scene, uh, this is the place to be. All right, so let's jump into the cons. Um, first off, you know, if you're a young person wanting to date or go out or or whatnot, the dating scene here sucks. Is this is this pretty bad because um, because you've got a variety of you know smart, intelligent people, which is a pro in my opinion. Uh, there's a huge ego that's brought in with that, you know, because they they think they work for Google or Facebook and they're making. I mean, they make pretty good money over sometimes 150, 200,000 a year. It kind of goes towards people's head and they think that they're really good. So um, there's a lot of flakes. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, women and for men, both sides that do this. So I've heard from women that men, you know, flake out. They're not really serious. For women, they're not really serious or they ex the expectation is very high. Um, you know, I've been on dates where the, the girls have asked me to drive to a specific uh, restaurant and meeting them. And I don't do restaurants on the first date, especially if I haven't met the person. And uh, interesting enough, is right across the street from where they live. So they expect me to, you know, drive 25 or 30 minutes in, in providing them dinner. And I, I, this is not a one-off instance. This has been happening quite a bit, I've noticed. So I had to kind of tone it down, but you know, it's the dating scene here is, is pretty bad. Um, if you want to be able to go out at night, uh, there's, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of good restaurants here, Chinese and Vietnamese specifically, 
um, because the population and, and dominance of demographics is Chinese and there's a large, very large predominant uh, population of Vietnamese. There's also a lot of Indian uh, from Indians here. So if you're looking for food in those type of demographics or, you know, those type of uh, cultures and to be around that, you know, that influence, I think San Jose is great for you. Um, but back to what I was saying about the bars, the bar scene is very limited. If you go to downtown San Jose, next to San Jose University, uh, you know, there there's one street where, it, you know, you could count with one hand the, the clubs and bars, you know. Uh, and if you go off, you know, the beaten path, there's a couple other, you know, bars here and there, but they're, they're pretty local bars that, you know, the locals kind of go at, and they're not as popping, as they say. So, um, you know, there, there's not much in terms of the nightlife scene. And I'm recording this video as of um, uh, December 2021. Uh, so we're basically at the end of, I guess, it's been almost two years since, uh, you know, pandemic happened. So, but the bars and clubs are all open and, and everything. So that really doesn't play into factor in my opinion. All right. So we talked about the dating scene. We talked about the outdoor bar scene. Uh, what about the the housing scene? And uh, the housing is absolutely astro astronomical in terms of the prices they charge here. And you're not getting much for it. Um, you know, because I have, like I said earlier in the video, I have lived in many different cities and I have paid you know, quite a bit of money too, but you got more value, you got more for your money. Here, you pay, you know, you're looking at a, a studio for about $2,300, and this is not a high rise, this is not like a brand new complex, this is a somewhat older community, and if you go into the newer communities, you're looking at about $2,500, and that's in San Jose. If you go to Mountain View, if you go to Palo Alto, these other areas, phew, you're looking almost close to three thousand uh, dollars because a lot of the tech companies are there, and a lot of the people that want to live next to work and, and conveniency, they know they they got money and they can pay for it and they can charge those kind of rents. So, unfortunately for San Jose, the rents are way, way, way too much uh, in in my personal opinion. Uh, another factor is, and this is for the whole state of California, but what I've noticed living in Southern California as opposed to Northern California, uh, Northern California, the prices are much more expensive. Uh, not only in terms of gas, you know, um, but also for food. Uh, you know, I've checked out Sprouts, at, which is amazing, Trader Joe's. Uh, there's another Asian market called 99 Ranch Market, uh, which I've done a review on my channel with, on. Uh, I've 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 been to all these places and um, the prices are always more expensive than Southern California and it depends where you shop in Southern California but prices predominantly for food for gas for even eating out at restaurants you're you're paying additional for it um, so just keep that in mind when coming over here. All right, another factor is commuting uh, right now because of. Uh, we're still in the pandemic. Uh, people aren't commuting as much. They're working from home. But what I've noticed is <laughs> when I have uh, driven on the the time frames of traffic, man, oh, man, traffic is still here. Uh, and I can only imagine traffic when it was not the pandemic here. It, it's just mind-boggling um, because you've got a really concentrated source of people living in an area and all these tech companies in this concentrated source, you know, employing thousands of people, you can only imagine the amount of people driving and the traffic flow going through. So it's mind blowing. I can only imagine when, when everybody has to return back to the office, it's gonna be terrible. All right, another factor is um, the culture. And the culture, in my opinion, coming from Austin, Texas, and Dallas, and living in Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia, I mean, I've been to many, even Irvine, California, the culture here is is pretty closed up. Uh, people, people have their own cliques, quotations. They have their own little groups. Um, they're, they're not as open to communication 
as opposed to let's say if you if you say hey how you doing or I mean they'll kind of wonder why are you reaching out to them why you I mean not everyone's like that but predominantly the culture here is kind of like to themselves um, so and I've talked to other people that do live here that have lived here for quite some time that have actually lived in other cities and they have actually said the same thing to me so I you know I kind of felt that way and I wanted to to reassure or make sure that I'm not the only one but you know many other people are feeling the same way so the culture is like that um, but anyways guys that's that's the full review of San Jose California this is an honest review uh, no fluffing it up, no BSing. I want to make sure that people are aware of the city before moving down over here um, and, and kind of having that thought process beforehand because I think that is really important uh, because it's not only all about work and sometimes people <laughs> living here as well, this, they think that work is life, which is, in my opinion, not. Uh, I think you should have a life outside of work. Um, so... Anyways, hope this is helpful. If it was, press the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help out the channel to so create more content. And uh, if you guys wanted me to, to review another city uh, in the U.S., please post it down in the comment section. And if you do live in San Jose and you are from another city and you experience some of these uh, you know, pros and cons, feel free to post it below too. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And as always, subscribe for more videos. Thanks.